Hi, I'm Daniel Sparacino. I'm from Salina, Kansas, and I was a Republican as long as I can remember. I remember in 2004, um, I was seven, and my elementary school did um, like a mock presidential election. And I remember I cried because I didn't know what George Bush looked like. I just knew he was who I was supposed to vote for. Um, and I cried because I couldn't tell who was who because they didn't have the names underneath the pictures. Um, so I've been a Republican my whole life. Um, I've worked for Republican state representatives and I worked for a senator from Kansas. And in 2018, I left the party and became an independent because uh, I couldn't really square with what I had always been taught the Republican values of immigration were and of the American dream that you can come to America and be anyone you want to be and we are separating people in need and putting kids in cages um, and so I left the party and became an independent um, I didn't vote in 2016 I couldn't square either of the candidates with my values and that was a mistake not to vote for Hillary um, I could go into a long list of why I don't want to vote for Trump, but I think a lot of them are conclusory statements, whether it be he's a racist or he's just incompetent. But I think the, the most important one is that he's corrupting our institutions, whether it be the judiciary by nominating people, the American Bar Association um, has considered unfit to be a judge, whether it be putting political hacks like Secretary Pompeo in cabinet level positions, not filling the ambassadorships, firing anyone who investigates them, labeling anyone who investigates the administration as a partisan hack and part of the deep state. And it it's not some Antifa members playing Trotsky cosplay that's going to kill America. It's going to be unaccounted for corruption. And that is all this administration is, is unaccounted for corruption. So I will be voting for Joe Biden and I hope all of my former Republican friends will join me in voting for Joe Biden um, if for nothing else but to save the institutional integrity of the United States. Thank you.